All right, it looks like I'm live. Hello, hello. Give me a second just to get over onto YouTube so I can see things the way you guys see things. It just take me, you know, however long it takes me while the computer thinks about life. That's what I said. That's not even close to what I said. Oh, it's warm in here tonight. So while that's coming up, come on, come along, come along. All right, I'm almost there. Come on. It's just because I can't see anything while it's going. <laughs> it's just thinking about life at the moment. And I probably am going to have to mute. Because I was watching Elle's stream yes earlier. And I didn't mute it back when I was done. And it defaults to whatever the last thing you did is. I will see there earlier. Come on, I didn't bring up the thingy so I can so I can hit mute. <laughs> there we go. Now hit mute. Mute. And it's buffering. Come on, stop buffering. Hi, Darla and Arlene and Jamie and Laura V. How are all you ladies? Diet Sunkissed. Uh, mine is Crush. Because they didn't have Fresca where we were. Okay. Uh, let me just grab one more thing. Hold on. Eh? And one of those. Okay. All right. So this is one of my scavenger finds. I thought, you know, I type that all the time, come and visit for a spell. So I, I saw that in the Dollar Tree today. I'm like, I got to have it. <laughs> this is not diet, and I probably should have got diet. But um, in October, and y'all can hold me to this, you ate watermelon. That's delicious. I love watermelon when it's hot. Ice cold watermelon. Oh, yeah. So you guys can hold me to this. October the 1st. No more soda. I'm giving it up of any kind. You heard it. It's happening. What? October the 1st. No soda. I was just walking by. Why are you dragging <laughs> me into this? You're a witness. You witnessed the proclamation. Also an enabler. So, okay, no soda after when? <laughs> October the 1st. Okay. <laughs> He's giving me the... the... <laughs> I don't want to do diet because diet has aspartame in it. And, you know, I've already had a cancer scare. So um, I'm going to stay away from that. I'm just going to give it all up because I seriously lack self-control. You don't have to if you don't want to, you know. No, I, I'm not saying everybody has to quit because I am. Or I'm not going to turn into one of those people that suddenly thinks, you know, everybody, if, if people that start exercising that all of a sudden think you should run with them and talk about it all the time. <laughs> you all keep drinking soda. I'm quitting. I want you all to have the maximum amount of fun. Let me just black out the address on this Happy Mail under this giant pile of paper back here. I know there's a big old Sharpie. Now, this is about my health. It's not about anybody else's habits. You do you. No judgment at all. You want to drink soda, you don't want to drink soda, you want to drink coffee, you, you don't want to drink coffee. Shit, I, maybe I can, this one doesn't, hold on, I'm having issues. Whoa, just give me a second. I can make this happen, I swear. My desk is such a mess. Coffee is your vice. <laughs> as long as you're okay with it and your body can tolerate it, I think that's awesome. I don't think you should deprive yourself. I'm doing it for health reasons. Um, if I decide I want caffeine, I am going to go back to uh, coffee because at least coffee is all natural. Um, but I am going to keep drinking tea because I don't think there's anything wrong with that. <laughs> Um, hold the phone. I'm just 
just gonna I'm trying to so that when I show this I'm not advertising somebody's address I'm just taping some paper over the this is a long way to go for something I'm gonna rip off whatever's in here in a second but you know you just don't advertise other people's addresses okay move that out of the way move that out of the way hold on a lot of places to move things out of the way. <laughs> Story of my life recently. Okay, so I got this happy mail today. It's a chunker. <laughs> Laura Vasquez, I heart coffee. <laughs> yes, I agree. Deprived is a dirty word. Ooh, French vanilla cappuccino. Mmm, mmm. You're allergic to work and diets. I'm not going on a diet. I'm just making a change in my diet, my eating habits, because um, I've been like kind of tracking how I feel after I have sugar, short term and long term. And my body is no bueno with the sugar. So I think I've just reached an age where I need to, to take a few things out of my diet and see how I feel. It's more of an elimination thing to see, you know, what can I add? What can I really actually consume? without being tired all the time, you know? And I like be tired. So you can see, this is a mighty big bag, isn't it? It's huge. So um, you know, if I felt fine, I wouldn't be worried about the soda, but I don't feel fine. I feel, I feel more tired right now. And I noticed that there's a significant change when I eat sugar or starch. So I'm going to start eliminating some of that and just seeing how I feel. So, all right, are we going to delve into the baggie? I'm a little bit afraid of what's in here. I think I know some of it. Okay. So, oh, there's some magazines in here. There's a couple of shapes. I can, um, should I just dump out what's in the bag now? And then we can go through it that way. I think that might be easier. Let me turn it around this way and just smooth everything out. Pardon the, pardon the, <laughs> ah! oh boy. Okay, there's stuff everywhere. Pardon the uh, earthquake that, wow. Okay, there's a lot going on here. Let me just shove that all together. Okay. Oh my goodness. Whoa. Looks like I got a lot of magazine pages. <laughs> oh, prairie dogs. Looks a little bit like he's praising. He's like, hallelujah. <laughs> okay, so I dumped it out and there it is. Except for the two shapes I already pulled out. That's everything. The baggie is empty. There it is, empty baggie. This had to be very unwieldy for the poor male person. All right, we're shoving that aside. Oh, my goodness. Yeah, three men defeat. That's kind of, you know, uh, what's the word? Counterintuitive. Ooh, Halloween stickers. Check that out. You know, I love me some Halloween. Is that stickers or? Oh, it's a card. <laughs> They're little cards. Aren't they cute? Look at that. Oh, there's a personal note. I will look at that. Have a fabulous Halloween. I love the little pumpkin and the bats on there. I wonder if I can make little mini journals out of these. <gasps> Isn't that cute? They're on the bus. Wheels on the bus. <laughs> Let's see. This one says, hope your Halloween is full of frightful fun, screeches and screams. <laughs> okay. Yikes. Eek boo. I don't know why, but I love when ghosts are this shape, like in cartoony stuff. I really like them. It's does that remind you of Rocky Horror Picture Show with, with vampire fangs? It reminds me a little bit. Hope 
Well, this could be naughty. May your night be full of fright and a mouthful of delights. <laughs> that could be a little bit naughty. Scary eyes. Eerie, scary, frightfully fantastic. <gasps> Look at the Oh, those are fun. I like those. Like the little zombie guy. <gasps> That's so much fun. I think these will make cute little like mini journals like that Christmas ones I did a while back. And they have an envelope to go with them. <gasps> Look, even on the back of the card, there's like, oh, this is so much fun. <laughs> Monster, skeleton, pumpkin, alien. I like it. Have a ghoulishly good Halloween. Trick or treat with spiders. These are so right up my alley. That is awesome. I will leave it to the person who sent it if they want to like make a comment or say in the video. I don't know if they're in here. Um, and say if they gave it to me. Sometimes people don't want others to tell. So um, I will leave it up to the sender to tell, to, to out themselves as it were. An owl. Oh, he's a googly eyed owl. Googly, googly. I love it. Boo, creep it real, trick or treat. How cute. <laughs> I don't know if I could bring myself to eat that little ghost cupcake. He's so cute. And he and inside says, "Hope your Halloween is as sweet as you are." <gasps> I think I see a little mini series of not like anything super huge, but just like sewing some signatures in, doing a little bit of a you know binder. I just think it could be fun. Don't kiss and tell. <laughs> Darla, how are you? Hi, I didn't see you. And JD and Carla, y'all snuck in. These are awesome. Oh my gosh. I feel so special right now. That's a lot of cards. I mean, I'm obviously going to keep a couple for myself because, you know, I can't. I, I think this one, I think I might have to keep that one for myself. But uh, I totally see these as cute little journals. I love it. I'm loving it. And it's not McDonald's. All right. This looks like a very large pile of maggots. Do you not just love the groundhogs? I love it when they're like, look, they all pop up and look at something and they all rush back in. It's like nosy little, little, <laughs> I find them infinitely amusing. Let's just say that. I didn't sneak on. Oh, I didn't make an announcement, huh? I said earlier in Elsa's live that I was going to come on to show the happy mail. <laughs> I love it, Arlene. That's awesome. Oh, no. Well, you know, it is nature. I like to watch them in videos because they do such cutely. They're like otters. They do such cute things. But everything eats something else in nature. So I'm not offended by that. Ferret's got to do what a ferret's got to do. I like the little cannon thing, though. I think the groundhog wins out. But that's fun, too. So I'm not going to look through every page because <laughs> that will take us forever. Look at how thick this stack is. Somebody tore apart some magazines, eh? Look at that. Well, I wonder how many inches this is. Does Amy know her her ruler is tonight? Maybe she does. Maybe she found it wedged down between the, the desk and the, and the little thingy on the side. Oops. But I'm not going to measure it from that end. That is like... Like two and a quarter inches thick. That's a pretty big stack. Oh my goodness. Somebody knows I like to collage. Whoa. And they are slippery. <laughs> They're slippery little suckers. Okay, so let's just, we'll do a random flip through of some of what's going on here. See if we can find some fun stuff. Ooh, I like that as a background. That's nice. <laughs> oh, God, Janie. Well, hopefully it will all be okay. Um, did you get all the infection out? That's not good. <gasps> Look at the little tiny owl.
Yeah, you want to make sure you don't have any infection going on. Oh, my gosh. That is a terrible thing. But good that it came off and you noticed that it was infected because, you know, that just festered. Lord only knows where we'd wind up. Now they're upside down. Okay, so let's just make, take bigger chunks now. It looks like there's some pretty fun stuff in here and some great scenery scenes. Oh, my God, this is from 1970. Look at Look at that. Oh, what a time capsule, right? I love that old guy's face right there. Look at him. This is fun. These are from the 1970s. Check it out. Look at the over shirtless and overalls. And I think that might be a girl. <laughs> oh, boy. Put these on parade, right? This is an awesome gift. Oh, my gosh. How perfect. I am going to have so much fun harvesting these. Oh, that's pretty. There's some good stuff in here. Doctors, not till next Wednesday. Well, do you think it'll be okay till then? Courier and Ives. I haven't thought about them in a while. Oh, oh, look. Get twice the books for your dollar. Do you remember these things? Oh, my gosh. Double Day Book Club. And look at the picture of the wholesome family. <laughs> look at those book titles. Oh, my goodness. Leave your fingers out of it. That's probably good advice. Janie, do you sometimes feel, not you personally, but I sometimes feel like when things go wrong, things go wrong. Like it's just a string of things, and then it'll be all better again. <laughs> Until next time. But yeah, I'm glad you're going to call the doctor and see what's going on there. A diamond is forever. <laughs> oh my gosh, this is, look at the Polaroid. Oh my gosh. Look at that one. I don't even remember these. The Polaroid SX-70. I was probably a little kid when this came out. Because I was born in 1971. I've done that too. I think we've all done like a makeshift. I don't want to go back to the doctor. Everything is fine. I'm pulling out my own damn st stitches. <gasps> Radar range. Oh my God. The precursor to the microwave. Oh, first, the first microwave with a memory. It's like having a computer in your kitchen. Oh, my goodness. Oh, look at the faces, too. Oh, this is so awesome. I am super happy right now. The sender knew what they were doing. This is so spot on for me. This is so exciting. Oh, and we're upside down again. Hold on. Let's see if we can make it right. Goodness gracious. Okay, so let's see. I'll just try and hit the highlights. You guys don't want to sit here while I flip through all of this. A lot of scenery. Even the font is totally different than, oh, that's kind of fun. I like that for a background. Look at the cars. Oh, the ultimate driving machine. <laughs> Look at that holiday meal. <laughs> that microwave, they really want to push that thing. There's a Pentax camera. <gasps> oh. Mercedes Benz introducing the new Ford Granada. <laughs> yeah, I'm sure they did. There's another Polaroid, the one step, the world's simplest camera. 
$39.95. That was big bucks back in the day. Okay, let's see. Here's, here's the cover of one. Let's see what kind of dates we're looking at. This is from 1977. Go back to being upside down. Okay. Oh, there's people on the beach. Okay. I'm sure at some point this will write itself. Oh, I like that. It's uh, like fencing, but their faces carved into it. I like that. That is fun. If they were, they were horribly ugly. <laughs> A bad Tinder date. Probably he'd send you underwear pics. You know what I mean? You know what I'm saying? Oh my goodness. Well, I definitely need to send out a little thank you note for this. This is beautiful. Kids on the beach. The Viking in search of the Vikings. Look at that. Let's see what we've got. Oh, man on space. Cool, just like on space.com. Oh my god. Space.com. Ah. I wonder what I wonder when this is actually from. Oh, uh, copyright 2000, space.com. <laughs> Look for positives. He was wearing underwear. Yeah, yeah, that's true. That is very true. Could have just been, and you know what, which, you know, there's plenty of those flying around. Okay, hold on, I got, uh, yawns, I got the yawns. This is a little more modern, modern. Toyota Land Cruiser, 1996. Those ones from the 70s, though, oh, gorgeous. Gorgeous. Hold on, I gotta I gotta straighten up this pile or I'm gonna have a craft lanch all over again. Okay, now that's making me want to look at this. Hold on. February 2020. Okay. All right. Let's see, I'm just looking for more exciting stuff that we can there is definitely a good amount of scenery pictures in here, which is awesome. Hi, Mary. How are you? Tidy whities versus snake. Um, I prefer boxer briefs. Tidy whities. Nobody looks good in tidy whities. They just, it's not a good look. Oh, look at the moon in this picture. I like that. Oh my, that is a naked booty. Okay. Let's see. There's a bird of some sort right there. <gasps> okay, what are those? Earth down <laughs> Wire tearing kangaroos. So, let's see, feathered but earth brown emus make a habit of racing up and down the dog fence until they tire and try to crash through. Fence saboteurs also like, also include, oh, okay, so they're talking about the dangers of owning emus. Apparently, they like to crash into fences. Think it's a little baggies. They might be lambs, though. I can't be sure. They might be just shaved lambs. They're shaved lambs. I'm wrong. They're not piggies. Shake, shake, shake. Shake your booty. Oh, I'll show the Halloween cards again at the end. Hi, Carrie. How are you? Hey, Curly. I will show the Halloween cards again at the end. 
we're just looking through this giant pile of there were some stuff from the 1970s in the first part of the pile oh my gosh how exciting was that these are a little bit more mo modern a zenith chroma color too trying to see if there's like a date anywhere on here look at that though you know that's it look, oh my gosh look at her skirt oh my gosh 1976 is the copyright on this one <laughs> Gotta love the 70s, man. Gotta love it. Let's see what else we might have in here. Oh, that's a nice uh, landscape. Underwater. Oops, we're back to being upside down again. Hold on. I think all of the pile, except that first little bit, must have been. Look at that diver's helmet, though. Don't seem like that really anymore. Guy with his chicken. That guy appeared to be wearing nothing but a machete. I know, right? That skirt. Oh, it's just, the ad was from 1976 or 77. Oh, look at that. Look at that. Look at that guy. Oh, my gosh. I may have to do like a retro book. <laughs> Good for you, Curly. That's awesome. Are you going to do like a sneaky peek of your stuff on your channel? All right. I'm just looking for highlights now. Oh, there's uh, Egyptian stuff. Falcon with gold and it's falcon made of gold with obsidian eyes. Oh my. Let's see. The 1977 Newport Chrysler. <laughs> Look at that car. It's a land yacht. Oh, I think you just have to go. The people that want to come will come. If you wait for there to be an open time, it's never going to happen. There just isn't such a thing. Oh, there's another one. <laughs> oh, my goodness. Kellogg's Corn Flakes. I haven't seen an ad for Kellogg's Corn Flakes in quite a while, I got to say. Let's see. Oh, that's got to be definitely. Look at the clothes they were wearing. That's got to be from the 70s. You could just upload a video. That's a good way to do it. You don't have to do everything live. Um, and if you don't um, have the capacity to, like, record a video without using, like, the the um, stream, the stream yard. Or no, not stream yard, but just going in and, like, filming like your life. If you, where it says public in there, if you just choose unlisted. And you record and then you stop. Once you've stopped, you can go into your uh, into this into the labs part, and you can schedule it to post anytime you want. So it works just like recording a video. It's pretty cool, actually. I just discovered that not too long ago, maybe like four or five months ago. So all this time I've been doing it on my on my tablet and futzing around with it and be, it being a big old pain in the tushy and I discovered I could just go in and record an, un an unlisted live and then schedule it to post whenever the heck I want it to. <laughs> so much easier. Alice told me that a couple of months ago. I'm like, really? <gasps> beaver. Oh, beaver jokes abound. Let's see. Extreme Adventure. 
Wow, that's a good look right there. Must be coal mining. Yeah, I would think so. Coal ran. So this is from after 1996. So there's a pretty good range of uh, dates in the, look at this, the scenery. <laughs> right? If we could only have like 36 hour days, I don't know. When would we sleep though? It's that darn needing to sleep thing. And wanting to spend time with your family and having a little downtime. I like the petroglyphs. All right, let's see what we can come up with. Oh, there's a dinosaur thingy. All right, let's see. Oh, little kids. A horse. Let's see. There's a pretty good mix of, of dates in here, so how fun is that? There's a young lady. Jeep. <laughs> kids playing basketball. Or kids mugging for basketball. <gasps> oh, look. It's a rhino, a seal, and a bird. Right? Uplo and uploading takes such a long time. I, I am loving the fact that I can do that. And it does, you know, it's pretty easy. Oh, look. <laughs> what, let's see. This is from 1999. But I love this ID. Oh, why do they do that? Make those kind of choices. I'm definitely going to choose the animals, though. Don't you think? I would think so. Let's see what else. Just flippy, flippy, flippy. <gasps> tiger. There's a tiger. Okay. Oh my gosh, so much stuff in here. Hold on. I'm trying to flip a little bit. See if there's anything else that's super fun in here that we have to gawk at. Honeycomb. Oh, look, it's a bee with a briefcase. Oh, my God, he's so cute. <laughs> For Delta Airlines. Oh, my God, when is this from? 1997. Really? I never saw that. That is too cute for words. Is that not just the most darling? Ah! I'm going to set that aside. That just amuses me to no end. An astronaut with cheese. What is this from? 1998. <laughs> You're right. Oh, that's nice, except there's words right in there. That's a nice picture, though. Let's see. Oh, there's a snake. I know not everybody likes snakes, but I do. Let's see. Let's see what else kind of fun shenanigans we can come up with in the pile. <gasps> Sailboats. Oh, we're upside down again. Hold on. Let me just flip all the way. Nope. It does go right side up at some point. Okay. We'll just go to here. <laughs> all right. Let's see. There's some kind of animal, but. Well, that's just pictures of guts with a wolf eating them. That's kind of disgusting, but that's nature. Oh, there's some flooding. That's sad. Yeah, this is a range anywhere from like 2000 and uh, I think the we saw like, I think the most 2001 was the latest I remember seeing. And then we saw them all the way back to like what, 1976? Snow. Somebody sent a giant, giant pile of, and I know who it is, but um, if they want to, if they want to out themselves, that's, you know, I don't, I didn't ask before I got on here, so I'm not, uh, it looks a little bit like there's a Sasquatch chasing kid, but I think it's just an old man. <laughs> I, th I think it's supposed to look like a cute grandpa and grandson moment, but 
<laughs> from where I am with my glasses on, like it's a little blurry. It looks like a Sasquatch chasing a kid. Really? Sometimes there are really good images in these transitions lenses. Ooh, artichoke. All right. Let's just flip through and see if there's anything else I can't live without showing you. There's a cat in a bird cage. There we go. I've seen it all. We'll get near the end of the pile. Oh, we're upside down again. I know there's one, some in here that are right side up. Because I saw them. Let's see. So... Harry and the Andersons, right? Now we know where he wound up. He's chasing some kid down a path. All right, now I know this is just restoration work, but if you just take it without really thinking about it, that's a little weird. Hi, Sassy T. How you doing? Let's see if there's anything else exciting I can't live without showing you guys. Tornadoes. Those are always timely and, and terrifying. Oh, it's a scene from the birds. Why the birds really why the birds really went berserk. <laughs> All right. Look at the monkeys. It's monkeys. There's a monkey and a kid. Oh, it's so cute. Uh, it's an article on uh, Jane Goodall. <gasps> Octopus. Oh, it's a bunch of animals and a human. I just saw the octopus. I kind of like that. I'm setting that one aside too. <laughs> Going with my bird with the brief or my bee with the briefcase. Oh my goodness. Who doesn't need a bee with a briefcase in their life? All right, I think let's just give it a quick. That's a nice picture. That's a nice one. All right. So we have large, by and large, seen a smattering of what was, it is a, it's, we measured it's about two and a quarter inches thick of just National Geographic pages. So many, so many images. It came in a poly bag and it held up pretty well. I'm doing more damage just moving it around on my desk than it happened in the poly bag. All right. How fun is that? That's like 86 days of harvesting right there. Okay. So aside from the giant two and a half inch thick pile of those, there were two shape magazines in there as well. And these are from 2020. This is February and March of 2020. And then I'll show these again, which I think I'm going to make little journals out of. It, I got a pile of these Halloween cards and they are so cute. And then they, you know, they open up. So this one says, hope your Halloween is as sweet as you. And look at the owl with the googly eyes. Hi, owls. What did JD say? You have both a sweet tooth and a soft voice. You're never late. You get here when you're meant to get here. Here are some dorky pumpkins. The pumpkins are, look at the little bat and the little spider. It's so cute. Okay. And then spider spiders everywhere. But I'm thinking these might be just fun to make some little journals out of. I can hear myself echoing from the other room. Echo, echo, echo. Have a ghoulishly good Halloween. 
This is I love I love the little zombie guy and I love the little witch. They're just so cute. Let's get spooky. Happy Halloween, creepy eyes. Eerie, scary, frightfully fantastic. Okay. Once again, does anybody think Rocky Horror Picture Show fangs? They're just cutesy. They're fun. Boo. Yikes. Eek. Curly hearts the zombies. Wishing you a spooky night of chills and thrills. Look at all of them on the double-decker bus. Aren't they cute? <laughs> okay. Uh, have a fabulous Halloween. Oh, I got to yawn again. Oh, yeah, yeah. It's cute. <laughs> he just looks confused, doesn't he? Like, er. Er? Maybe er? <laughs> hey, Darla, where are you? I her before. Hi, Darla, if I missed you before, but I, I feel like I said hello to you, but now I don't know. They're just so cute. Oh, okay. She's taking care of... So, yeah, there's a whole pile of them. Aren't they just cute as can be? And I was thinking I might keep one or two for myself because they're so stinking cute. But I could make little journals out of them. Wouldn't those be fun? Just a super simple, you know, write your write notes for yourself in it or whatever. Not like a whole junk journal. Just like a little cute notebook. How fun is that? <laughs> I think those are awesome. And if I just kept it simple, it wouldn't take very long either. I think I'm going to do it. I'm going to make some little cute journals. So, uh, just for highlights, there's our... There, I think those are two of the best images I saw. They're B with the briefcase. Come on, B with the briefcase. I think it's so cute. There you go, JD. Sometimes it's just the little things. <laughs> right? Then you can teach them all the fun stuff. Yes, it would be awesome with some Amy paper in that. That's exactly what I was thinking. <laughs> I might have a sheet or two laying around. You know, just one or two, though. I'm sure I don't have tons of paper everywhere. <laughs> that would never happen in, in my room, no. It's neat as a pin. Never any extras. <laughs> Waiting for that lightning bolt to hit me any second now. Oh my God, I've been on for 43 minutes. How could you guys let me yak for 43 minutes about National Geographic magazines? So a super, super... You have paper I... <laughs> you have paper I haven't taken yet? Only a sheet or two, I swear. There's, there's almost nothing in here. You're so good at pilfering it and sneaking it away. I have to sleep on the stuff I want to keep, you know. So I have to keep ironing it over and over again. But yeah, a super big thank you to the lovely person who sent me this Happy Mail. Um, you were very spot on with your choices. Thank you so much. I don't want to out the person. If they want to out themselves, I don't think they're in the room tonight. But if they want to post in comments... Um, I'm happy to for them to, to get credit for this because it's a, a super well thought out uh, happy mail. 
it it did. It made me happy. It's, it's brought a huge smile to my face. The the bee alone was worth it. The bee with the briefcase. Oh, uh, so special. You think you know who it was? I don't know if my knees and my hips will do the time warp at this particular moment. <laughs> Right, Carla? Totally. I can see Arlene doing that. <laughs> She's just going to come barreling in and toss me out of bed and be like, I knew there was a sheet I didn't have yet. <laughs> oh, I didn't. You're right. I totally, I put the card aside and I didn't. How cute is that? Okay, let me read the card off camera. Okay, I'm reading. It doesn't say whether or not to share, so um That man has no neck. What man? What man has no neck? Damn it, Janet. Thank you for suggesting it, but it doesn't say. I'm I'm almost certain that the person would be okay with it, but um what do you think, Else? You know who sent it. Do you think it would be okay? Or do you think I should just let them? I've never been, I've, I've seen it, but I've never seen it like with a bunch of people and I've never seen it produced in the theater. Uh, I missed my moment with that one. Okay, then I will tell you, it was Tammy Minda. Tammy Minda sent me all the happy goodies. What is her new thing now? What is it, Tammy Passions? Is that what her new name is? <laughs> Arlene. <Okay. laughs> Gary, I was not right. No, this was this was very well thought out and very well put together. So I just <laughs> I enjoyed opening. I'm going to enjoy going through that over and over again. There's so much to see. And the ones from the 70s. Oh, perfecto. All right. So does anybody have anything they want to share? Any ideas or projects or announcements they'd like to make? Well, I saw it when I was young, like a video of it, but I never have been to a live like stage production and I've never gone to see a screening with other people. <laughs> nope. Crazy as usual. Oh, you're right. I totally forgot about my scavenger. Holy cannoli. Okay. Hold the phone. So we went out on scavenger and I, I bought a bunch of stuff I don't need. Look at that. Are, is that not cute? And then I bought a bunch of candy that you don't need to look at. I got these uh, baggies. See, this journal's already shaping up. And I don't want to show that just yet. I'll get to it in just a second. Let's see. Hold the phone. Hold the phone. So we went to Tuesday morning and I made my purchases. And then I saw this and I had to have it. Like, Elle's was doodling around in the back looking at things and this is just a little tin of tea but i was in love with the tin and it was only three bucks 3.99 so by the time she by the time she made it up to the front i decided i had to have it i 
And then I totally didn't need this either, but I got it. It's a peacock napkin. <laughs> Sassy. <laughs> That's fun. And we did come close, to be honest. We did come close. And then I found these, and I've never used these. They're Vicky Booten art crayons. I thought I might try them out. They were 20% off, so why not? Ugh. That is for my mixed media. And then you guys did see my sign that's for my shows. Hi, Dorinda. How are you? And, and Sassy went to Hobby Snobby or Snobby Lobby, whatever she called it. So this will be on a lot of my thumbnails for my shows because I just like it. And not even just at Halloween time. You got a Scrabble game, JD? Awesome. I love Scrabble. You're trying to go to sleep, but you can't. So you came on here so I can bore you to death. Perfect. All right, so I did get one more thing. Let me pull these off here. Um, these have kind of been, um, I think it started with Nicole. That's the first place I saw it. But I found these while I was out. So I got two of the ones I could. And then this one, there was only one. So uh, the ones I have two of, 50 cents, it was coming home with me to the barn. Nice. So when I do my giveaway tomorrow night for the buyer's giveaway that I talked about on Monday, I'm going to add these two to it because some people have been having a hard time finding it. So I thought this might make a fun giveaway, um, these two. So that was my mini scavenger haul. People do ask if I have circulation problems. Some people just give me a funny look and back away a little bit. But the people who get it are people who aren't. They know. Oh, my goodness. That doesn't sound good, Gar Darla. That sounds like no fun at all. Maybe they just want to make sure you're not wearing pajamas and that you've brushed your hair. <laughs> You think it's optional? You're like, I'm not going. Yeah. Yeah. A couple of old ladies have walked up to Elle's and whispered, does she have circulation problems? They have. <laughs> so, but yeah, so these two will be in the giveaway tomorrow. So now we have eight. I think we have 10 giveaways total or 11. It might be 11. I'm not sure. But there's at least 10. And then I'm keeping the other three for myself because I'm a greedy biatch. So, yeah, I thought, you know, there. I saw a lot of people were having trouble finding them, and I saw them today, and I'm like, oh, maybe I can give some away, and somebody will be happy. Oh, Laura went and bought Fabri-Tac and long glue sticks. Fabulous. <laughs> You're not going to get fired, are you, Darla? Oh, my gosh. She's definitely got an opinion about this. Well, if you had a mask on, you know, that defeats the total point of resting bitch face. You need to have a mask that just says, I have resting bitch face. Do not approach. Darla will show up and eat vanilla pudding out of a miracle whip jar. Oh, my gosh, Carla. Yeah, Darla's a little salty, but can you blame her? I think her work's kind of a dick sometimes. 
<laughs> Darla, your dog's ass on camera. That'll be exciting. Yeah, but they can't see your face when you're wearing the mask. So they don't know you have resting bitch face. Everybody looks sort of approachable in a mask. All the time now, not just some of the time, all of the time. I think you just should assume anybody wearing a mask is not approachable unless they wave you over. Ooh, you're going through a transition. I hate those. Sometimes it's hard to stick it out, man. They have all these new ideas and they think they're introducing stuff you've never seen or heard of before. And you're like just rolling your eyes going, we've all done this all before. It didn't work. It's hard. And he's a jerk. I hope you took. <laughs> yeah, that probably works. Probably vampire face on the mask says, stay the hell away from me. I might bite you. Well, you do look cute and friendly, but you know, it's a lie. It's all a lie. All right. Well, we are hitting an hour and it is 10 here and that's 12 everywhere on the east coast so i think we're gonna we're gonna call it for tonight i'm glad you made it in dorinda i'm sorry we didn't have long enough to bore you to death or i mean to sleep <laughs> one or the other one of those things it's one there nine oh yeah three hours not two hours amy three hours so um however you guys are spending your days and nights i hope it brings you great joy and happiness each and every one of you deserves it until i see you on one of my lives or in us in a box somewhere else i wish you the happiest of crafting bye 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 thanks for watching all my stuff with me and opening my happy mail and all that the end